first of all, like recognizing what you want to change, recognizing what steps you might need to take to like be the person that you want to be, but you have to like figure out who that is. There, there was a point in time where I was so upset with myself with not being like where I wanted to be in life and you know, all this other stuff. And that dissonance, like the if you're feeling bad about that, it just means that like you inherently know deep down inside that you can be that person that you want to be, but you're just not really allowing yourself to be that person, whether it's because of excuses or laziness, procrastination, I don't know. That's all that means. It just it just means that you you can be that person, but you're just not allowing yourself to. A wise person once said, it takes a little self-interrogation. <laughs> yes, if you don't take the time to, you know, ask yourself those questions, like how are you how are you ever gonna change? And it sounds so simple. It sounds so so cliche and simple but it's not easy it's not easy to sit down and sit with yourself being completely vulnerable and open to the idea of like figuring out what can be improved because in order for you to do that you have to admit to what's not working right i was listening to like a podcast talking about you know like get out of your procrastination era or whatever and it's like things that you know you've already heard before. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's very cliche, I guess, you know? But like one of the things that the podcast had suggested that like if you have a task at hand that's like gonna take less than two minutes, just do it now so it doesn't pile up. And so, you know, every time, every time I'm tasked with something, I'm just like, okay, how long is this really gonna take me? Just do it now if I can. If I'm being completely honest with how I've been able to respond faster is I am learning to let go of perfection or just kind of overthinking. I'm realizing that like I, I overthink what I'm going to say a lot of times. Like a lot of times I will start the text or the message back, but then I don't always send it because I'm like, oh, is that the right words to say? Does this make sense? But now... Like when I see the text, whatever comes to my mind, like right away, I'll just type it and respond. And if it doesn't make sense, I'll just like, you know, reword it. But I want to at least put it out there right away. And I have learned that like, I think the tone is less important than like the acknowledgement, if that makes sense. I got a text yesterday from a friend who's trying to book me for a wedding and I texted her and I was like, when are you free today? And then she texted me back. Like, here's the next step, right? Like, I feel like I'm getting better at responding. As soon as I get a message, my, my next challenge is responding back to the second message. That's that's the next goal is okay, we got we got the first message down. Now it's time to like respond the second time, right? Like I'm honestly, I'm so impressed with people who are so quick to respond. Like I love that. I love it when I text someone and like they text back. Like that's one thing that I noticed about like you know, a lot of successful people, no matter what it is that they're doing, no matter how busy they are, if you reach out to them, they're like reliable. You know what I mean? Like they'll still respond to you, even though they're doing a million things. And if I want to be successful in my own right, like I want to take those same qualities from people who I, you know, look up to. And so that's like one of the first steps is responding like i'm not i shouldn't be too busy to respond to a text and i you know yes i have add and yes i will get distracted but i'm just trying to like i'm just trying to be quicker with like okay i got distracted so let's let's like not waste that distraction and and just get on it and respond i don't like being left hanging you know and that's like one thing that i really try to remind myself like you you have to treat others the way that you want to be treated. 
I'm realizing that like, you know, to me, I'm just like, well, I don't want to be rude. You know, like, I don't want somebody to be rude to me. But when you think about it, like telling someone that you need time to respond is not rude. It's it's being truthful. And that's better than no you know, response at all.